Hi, this is Code Next showing you how to change the LOD distance of a certain model, uh, preventing it from disappearing after a certain distance. And what you need is Tiny Hexer, a free hex editor application. Just Google and download it. Then uh, open the X model you want to change. I will use uh, the KF model to explain to you. Uh, what you see at the very top are some cryptic symbols, yeah, but you don't need to care about them. Important is uh, this here. This is the name of an X model serve, a surface file. Uh, if you look in Explorer, uh, you see it's uh, the LOD01 model and is it's the largest one and 31 is the smallest one so this is the really high poly model this uh, is still uh, yeah, still high poly uh, this is medium and this is low poly so back in the hex editor um, you see these uh, x model serves in order and in front of them are these four bytes, which is actually the distance as a floating point value. You can't just read the value here even if you uh, convert uh, from hexadecimal to decimal value, because it's computer encrypted. Yeah, this works differently. Um, and Tiny Hexer has a really nice tool under Tools, Value Editor, and you need to set this to single float, 32 bits, which is uh, 4 bytes. And you see, this uh, is the LOD distance is 301 units. Um, so how to find it? Uh, just look uh, at the name of the X model serve. Uh, here starts it. Then go back four characters. So one, two, three, four. And you see it's not showing any uh, weird numbers anymore, but yeah, a very uh, sensible one. And uh, I can I can show you some of the others. One, two, three, four. It's 500 and the low poly model is here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and you see the low poly model is set to zero, which means this uh, specific model won't disappear at all. Yeah, it, it will uh, use uh, this low poly model uh, after a distance of, let's see, Two thousand uh, one thousand and two hundred units, which is the uh, the uh, more detailed model above. So this this value um, is telling you the maximum distance uh, till this is not used anymore. So uh, from one unit to uh, three hundred and one the high poly model will be used. Then from 302 to 500, the second model. The third from 501 to 1200. And everything which is above 1200 uh, will use the low poly version. Most models will not have zero anywhere in here, meaning they will completely disappear after the highest given distance value, and you want to change that. So let's assume um, the zero here uh, would be something different. Let's say uh, 2000 units. So uh, the model would completely disappear after 2000 units. And yeah, this is how you change it. You just uh, have to have the cursor right here. Yeah, you, you remember one, two, three, four characters in front of the name. And then just select it here and type the value you want. So uh, 
let's say increase it to 5000 units, hit enter and you see it, it updates here. So how to save the changes? Uh, you just need to uh, say file, save as and uh, yeah, go to your Call of Duty uh, X model folder and s store it under a different name so you don't uh, replace the original one and yeah, don't mix it up. It will just work. Uh, you don't need to compile anything uh, as uh, it, this is just the X model file and it doesn't contain uh, any uh, further information. Yeah, it, it still links to to um, material files and the X model servers and so on. Uh, yeah, and you did not change them. So just uh, save this and you're good to go.